Hello everyone, welcome to IPM IAS Academy's daily news highlights. Today is 4th September 2024. So let's see what are the important news for today's discussion. And before that, if you have not yet subscribed this channel, please do subscribe this channel so that you will continue to get updates regarding civil services examination, preparation strategies and current affairs. Happy Teachers Day to all of you. We know that teachers have played a great role in our life. Okay, so from our childhood onwards, in order to give us a knowledge base, in order to understand our learning pattern, in order to lead a wonderful life, teachers have played a great role in our life. For all the teachers out there, we wish you a happy Teachers Day. And on this day, we would like to reveal an important gift for all of you and that gift is available there in IPM IAS application. Okay, so that's a great, great, great offer for all of you and that offer is available there in IPM IAS app only. So what you need to do is you need to download IPM IAS app and check the courses. There you will see the gift. Okay, so please don't wait. Download the application. The link is there in the description and go and see the gift out there for you for all the learners for all the IAS aspirants. Nine Maoists including six women killed in Dandewada operation. So this particular article is mainly dealing with an anti-nexal operation in Dandewada. So based on this particular article what you need to understand is uh, the internal security in our country and how we are actually responding or reacting to the the the, uh, the extremist forces in our country especially you need to have an idea about the the maoist uh, infiltration in the regions the the spread of maoist ideas in various parts of the country especially in the chhattisgarh region and all you need to have an idea and how our government is uh, countering this problem how our government is uh, uh, taking an initiative to counter this problem what are the security agencies that we have to counter this problem so all these points you need to have an idea so there are actually a lot of increase in anti-nexal actions always these extremist tendencies will create a lot of confusion uh, in our country which will affect the the uh, day-to-day the -day administration in our country so it is a it is an important thing to do from the side of a government to counter these kinds of problems that are actually existing in the nation so these are the important aspects regarding this particular article so based on this article you need to have an idea about our anti nexal operations and how is this system working in our country how is our internal security system is actually fighting against these kinds of maoist infiltration and agitations in our country you need to have an idea so this particular article is coming in page number one general studies three and it's a part of internal security the world bank hikes india's economic growth forecast to seven percent for 2024 25 so the World Bank has revised India's GDP growth forecast to 7% for the financial year 2024-25 up from an earlier estimate of 6.6 .6, aligning with similar forecasts from the IMF and ADB driven by strong infrastructure investments and household spending. So here what we need to give importance is uh, how is this uh, data is analyzed and how they are actually arriving at this, uh, this kind of a uh, number okay they are saying that there will be a 7 percent uh, growth the gdp growth will be there for india in the financial year 2024-25 and what is this institution so for, they are mentioning about the world bank world bank what is the relevance of world bank in the in the entire international economic system what is the relevance of imf international monetary fund what is the relevance of uh, adb asian development bank so you need to have an idea about it because these all these are actually important financial institutions that play a significant role uh, in the in the economic aspects so what are these uh, organization uh, and wh how you, what is their contribution to the, the, the economy, the, the international economy, you have to have an idea and how they are actually projecting this particular figure. Okay, what are the reasons for it? You have to have an idea. So these are the important points you need to understand from this. So read this article. There are some important statistics which are actually given in that. So please try to understand the article and also understand about the points I have just mentioned right now. So this particular article is coming in page number one, general study three, and it's a part of the economy. Sender gives nod to defense proposals worth 1.44 lakh crore. 
So here the article is mainly focusing on the Defense Acquisition Council and they have approved 10 capital acquisition proposals worth rupees 1.44 lakh crore including the procurement of 7 stealth frigates, future ready combat vehicles, air defense fire control radars, Dornier 228 aircraft and the patrol vessel. So basically from this what we need to understand is this acquisition is actually happening for the betterment of our security only but how this acquisition is happening and what is this organization called the defense acquisition council what is this body defense acquisition council who are the members of this defense acquisition council you need to have an idea and how the system is actually functioning here okay how this acquisition process is actually functioning here who all are responsible for this Please try to have an idea. So read this article, understand about the Defense Acquisition Council uh, in this regard. So this particular article is coming in page number 6, General Studies 3 and it's a part of internal security. A discourse on AI governance that India must shape. So we are living in an era of artificial intelligence and it is very important to understand how we are actually governing the, the role of artificial intelligence in the day to day life of the people. Okay, so the India's role in AI governance and India should leverage its influence in international forums to shape AI governance. Because if it is not governed properly, if it is not uh, properly regulated, then there it can create a lot of problems in the entire country. So, ensuring equitable access to technology, bridging the digital divide and advocating for the interest of the global south at the UN summit on AI. So, here they are mentioning about the UN summit on AI. They talk about AI and it's the importance of its uh, governance. So, these aspects, in these aspects, how India can contribute. That is what is uh, mentioned in this particular article. So, um, India should play a pivotal role here because we have contributed in other areas of uh, development. So you can see that India played a pivotal role in certain other areas, especially some historical diplomatic success that India has achieved. India's past leadership in climate negotiations, uh, advocating for equity and differentiated responsibility. So these all prove that India can also play a very important role in AI governance also. We can also come up with certain important policies that can actually govern and regulate the, uh, the artificial intelligence and its development in the world. So um, when we are actually coming up with such a policy, we need to, we need to ensure that uh, it is inclusive in nature. It actually includes the marginalized voices, the small uh, enterprises, the underrepresented groups, all these things we need to take into account when we are actually coming up with such kind of a regulation. So this particular article mainly dealing with uh, the artificial intelligence. So you also should have an idea about the, the growth of artificial intelligence in the world and uh, how it is going to affect or impact the administration of various countries and what India can do in the government aspect of the artificial intelligence. Please read this article and try to understand about it. This particular article is coming in page number 8, General Studies 3 and it is a part of technology. Take on the challenge of rising income inequalities. So this particular article belong to the, the economy section and here they are addressing about the progressive measures for equity. Addressing income inequality requires progressive taxation, fair labor laws and significant investments in education, skills and infrastructure to ensure sustainable growth, inclusion and justice, lifting millions out of poverty while fostering equitable wealth distribution. So basically this article is focusing on the, the rising income inequality. Okay, what we can actually do to address this uh, income inequality. So, so it is clearly mentioned in this article. So, read this article, understand more about it because addressing income inequality is a need of the hour. Okay, because for the overall development of a country, for the overall development of the economy, we need to address this income inequality. So, how local development can actually focus in this area? Emphasizing a Gandhian model of uh, decentralization and local production can create resilient, sustainable economies. Investment in SMEs, local talent and digital platforms can drive growth, employment and global competitiveness, especially in India's diverse districts. So, the, the solution is also there in, in Gandhian principles, the decentralization that he has actually advocated. So, how we can actually um, take advantage of this, this particular idea. So, all those points are clearly mentioned in, the, in it and it also mentioned the future economic models also. So, please try to go through this article and understand about it. And this article is coming in page number 8, General Studies 3 and it's a part of economy.
So this particular article is mainly discussing about the international relations and it actually talks about the, uh, the Sri Lanka's up upcoming elections and their promises and their opinions. Okay. So Anura Kumara Disa Nayake leading the national people's power in Sri Lanka's upcoming elections prioritizes fixing the economy, eradicating racism and achieving social justice as a, one of the crucial element for this particular election. So we need to understand that they were going through these crises, they were going through the economic crisis, they were going through ra racist problems in the region and uh, social justice is a, was a problem prevailing in that uh, area. So they need to address this issue. So the, the, the leader has come up with a solution for this and uh, uh, what we can expect from this election that is also very very important because there are a lot of people who are actually contesting in this election and what we can expect from this how will be the future of Sri Lanka we need to have an idea because Sri Lanka is our neighboring country and it is very important for us to maintain a cordial relation with Sri Lanka also so in this uh, context you need to understand about what is India's relation with Sri Lanka, the current relation with Sri Lanka and some updates regarding the, uh, the, the upcoming elections in the Sri Lanka. So these are some of the important news for today's discussion and apart from this there are some other news also there in the international relations page and uh, other pages. So what you need to do is please go through these news and try to do an extra research about about what they are actually mentioning and how you can actually connect it with the, the static syllabus also. So please don't forget about the gift I already mentioned to you. So the link for IPMIA's application is there in the description. So please click on the link, uh, download the application and see the important gift there for you. It is especially for the PCM course 2025 and PCM course 2026. Okay, so this is a wonderful opportunity for you. It's only for today. It's only there for today. So thank you so much for your patient listening. So again, I'm telling you, if you have not yet subscribed the channel, please do subscribe the channel and also share this video with others if you feel like it is actually helping you in your preparation journey. Thank you so much.